416 savings and credit cooperative organizations across the country are being marched in each of the 30 sectors in the country in order to form one cooperative bank. There's a lot to be expected from this bank, according to the members of these cooperatives and the administration, as explained by some of the members. At least we stand a chance to be offered higher loans if the cooperative would credit us 500,000, at least up to 2 or 5 million. This would improve our social welfare. Most of the time our working process is not effective due to the lack of technology. We therefore find it an idea that more emphasis should be put in the use of technology in order to facilitate us to register and attend to our new members. We also find it hard to compete with other competitors with the highest technologies whereas we still use non-technological methods. The manager in charge of technology says that it has already been implemented in the cooperatives in Rutunga, Kanombe and Giseni so that by August 2021, all the cooperatives across the country will be able to use technology in their workplaces. The Minister of Trade and Industry, Soraya Hakuziaremnye, explains how far this project has reached. After the first assessment of use of technology, the National Bank that is also in charge of these cooperatives has confirmed some issues that were discovered in the software to be used by these cooperatives, including the registration of all members in these cooperatives, in this software and other issues concerning reports that are to be handed over to the National Bank. At this point, we are establishing this project in all the four 416 cooperatives starting from August this year so that by July 2021 we will have established technology in all the remaining cooperatives. Stratton Habyarimana is an economic analyst. He says that the establishment of this bank is a great idea to put in place to help these cooperatives develop. When cooperatives are merged into one, this increases the strength of all cooperatives, hence improving the services provided by these cooperatives. And also this simplifies work for investors, whereby they don't have to go through all the 416 cooperatives. Instead, they will have to deal with one administrator or one institution. This will also reduce the cost on running the cooperatives, especially on the budget allocations. This bank is to be established in such a time where some of the cooperatives have mismanagement issues that have led to losses for the members. Hence, some of the cooperatives are on the verge to their downfall. The Director General of Rwanda Cooperatives Agency, Professor Jean Bosco Haririmana, attributes his confidence on the current draft law undergoing reviews in the Parliament Chamber of Deputies as a game changer on the functionality of cooperatives in the country. <laughs> Members of the cooperatives will now own them now that Article 87 in the new article clearly provides the full right as in how every member is rightfully to the profits made. About 80% of all profits made is divided to the members of the cooperatives, which is contrary to the previous setting, and this is likely to increase the number of members. Countrywide, there are 10,000 cooperatives in total, consisting of 5.3 million members, while the savings and credit cooperative organizations has a total savings of 76 billion Rwandan francs and a total capital valued at 16 billion. Jane Mutoni, reporting for RTV.